It doesn't say that we won't sin after we come to Jesus. It doesn't say there won't be weapons formed against you. It doesn't say that there won't be trials and tribulations. We got to remember that we do live in this fallen world, but we do have an advocate and we have God within us as believers. And greater is he in us than he that's in the world. So we got to tap into that. I'm reading here in Proverbs. He that covers his sin shall not prosper, but whoso confesses and forsakes them shall have mercy. So you see, it's really not a shocker that we mess up and we have sin. Uh, the shocker and the poison and the deterrent is, is if we try to hide it and deceive ourselves, justify ourselves, and remember that only God can justify. The sweet thing is, is when we confess that we messed up, he's quick to forgive. It's already paid for. And then to forsake that sin and not turn around and do it intentionally again. That's when we find his mercy, his grace, and we can walk through life with peace, knowing we have a father who so loved and will always be willing to forgive when we don't try to hide it. Amen. Amen.